to this week's midweek devotional. I am going to be reading from the book Genesis because uh, that is where everything begins. Um, it is from Genesis 3 verse 11 and it says, and the, Lord, and the Lord God said, Who told you that you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Um, it seems like a very odd verse, and yes, it's midway through a storyline. So to give you a bit of context, obviously this is talking about Adam and Eve, um, and how uh, they just ate from the tree of knowing good and bad, uh, and then God, they hear God walking around or moving through um, the garden, and then they hide from him, and then God, um, God calls out to um, Adam and asks him, Hey, where, where did you... What, where are you? Why are you hiding? And then it goes, and then obviously Adam beforehand goes, I heard you were moving about in the orchard and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And I feel the reason I picked this is because so often I feel when we read the God's response when he says, Who told you that you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? And then like, kind of like face palming himself or something like, he's like, Oh, why, why did you do this? Or he seems irritated or... Um, upset and I think that's a result often of us bringing our garbage if you would call it that to the Bible um, because when we look at God's character that's the last way I think how God would really respond um, and even in his response what it seems to be saying for me anyway is that he didn't he doesn't um, seem to be angry, but he gives Adam a response, a, a time to respond, like, and, and tell him, hey, what, what's wrong? Why, why, um, why did you do this? Or what happened? Why are you, um, why do you think you're naked? Uh, and this, this gives Adam the opportunity to confess, to, to say, God, I am sorry for what I did. I am, I was wrong. I, I, I did the wrong thing. But instead, what you see Adam do is shift the blame to Eve and then obviously God gives the same opportunity to Eve and then Eve shifts the blame to the snake. Um, now, I wouldn't say I would do the, it differently, but from what I now have learned from this story and I think from, God, from knowing God more and more, the thing that God wants from us is not for us to live a perfect life, but when we mess up, that we actually go to Him and not hide from Him. Because when we hide is when we remove God from the situation. Is when we um, stop allowing God to live and, and move in our lives. And so can I encourage you, when you feel um, God correcting you or when you uh, are called up on something that you did, do not run from it and do not isolate yourself. Do not alienate yourself from people, but actually go towards that. Because being corrected and being disciplined is something that is very important and it keeps us in line and it keeps us in check. Because if we weren't, obviously, <laughs> we could run a muck and no one would do anything. Um, and so coming back to the verse, when, when you hear God um, asking you, why are you hiding from me? Why do you, why do you think you're naked? Or why do you think you did something wrong? Um, respond with honesty because God knows you better than you know yourself and He will... I promise you, accept you and love you with the most amount of love and grace that you've ever experienced in your life. Um, and when people around you do the same thing, uh, always obviously measure it to, to the Bible, but often they do it for your best um, interest and not their own. Um, and so I hope uh, that helps and encourages you to not run away, but actually go towards God. I hope you have a good rest of the week and um, we'll see you next time. Bye.